let's kind of rehash things, everything that happened. At what point did you realize you were going to say no to Nancy? And why did you send her the shot that yeah. said, let's do the damn thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think throughout the entire journey with me and Nancy, I mean, you guys saw the roller coaster that we kind of went on. So there were multiple points through our journey that I felt like I was going to say no. There were also multiple points where I was, I had gotten over that no, and I was like, damn, I could say yes here. So, I mean, I guess ultimately on wedding day, the final point where I was like, okay, it's going to be a no was, was standing up there at that altar. If I'm thinking this hard about it and struggled this hard, the answer cannot be yes. Yeah, and that makes a lot of sense. But so when you did send the shot, you had every intention of saying yes at that point. When I sent that shot, so about the shot, that's the one thing I actually regret about this whole experiment. You know, I made mistakes along the whole way, um, but from, from from those mistakes, like they, they aren't really regrets because I wouldn't be able to learn from them. But the mm -hmm. shot, I do regret. The shot was kind of the, um, like the result of me going through a, a complete emotional breakdown. She had sent me this beautiful gift uh, and I kind of felt like I owed her something. Um, and so I wanted to send her a tequila shot with a little note attached and and it just it just did not, I was not in the right mindset to decide, okay, I need to send her a shot and like lead her yeah. to the I should yeah. The shot by itself would have been fine, but the, the note that came attached was just over the top. And that's why she thought you were gonna say yes is because right. you sent that shot. Why else do you think she was so blindsided? Because she was ready to, I mean, she was all in. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even watching it back, like I remember the first time I saw it back last week, I was like, holy, I was rooting for myself to say yes. I was like, this looks <laughs> incredible. Like we look like we're madly in love, which we were. I think she was weighing the entirety of our relationship on those past 10 or 11 days. So that's probably why she was so blindsided. Sure. Uh, and, I, and honestly, like, that's what I was saying. Like, it, it could have gone either way on wedding day. Has it know? been hard to rewatch all the episodes back? I mean, I know oh this God. was a year and a half ago, but. So it has, I've watched them all um, one time and I've watched the wedding like five times. And like every time I'm, I actually watched it last night with my mom and sister here at the house. And I, I break down every time seeing that gift and then seeing me and my mom walk towards the aisle. Um, it's, it's very hard. Uh, but even like before that wedding stuff, like back in, in Malibu, and I just felt like like a shame and embarrassed. Like I said a lot of wrong, insensitive stuff um, that, you know, not not the best uh, portrayal of, of who I am as a person and who I am, how, how I treat women. Um, so I'm uh, like, the first emotion I felt was this embarrassment and shameful, um, but also like proud because I'd never lied. I was never dishonest. Um, in fact, sure. the opposite is true. I was always like brutally honest. Uh, which came across as, you know, insensitive, but I felt like it wasn't my, own, my only my decision at the altar. You know, Nancy was in this experiment and in this world just as much as I was. And so I needed her to know who I am on the inside and out. And yeah. that's who I am. I am honest and I speak my mind. And she, she, we had at that point four, three and a half, four weeks to make an ultimate decision what we're going to do for the rest of our lives. I want to go back to the comment that you made about watching the wedding five times. Why do you keep watching that episode over and over again? It's, it's, I, so I, 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 it's like I'm torturing myself. Like, I don't know why I keep watching it over and over again. Like the scene, the, the breakdown is one thing because because I, I remember how I was feeling in that moment. I know I had my boys there and like, I was so torn between like happiness and confusion and, and fright. I also watch, um, the family fight scene over and over again. Um, yeah, that was intense, huh? Yeah, that was, I mean, that's gotta be one of the craziest moments in Love is Blind history. Like, honestly, I, like, I, I couldn't believe it was happening. I was trying to get Nancy away and talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And actually, you know, like we're, we're I'm being bombarded by her mom and her brother. And then you see like my kind of support system come around the corner. My mom tried to calm everything down, but that's not happening. You know, voices are raised. Um, it's, I just, that's another feeling of shock and like why well, I, I kind of disappoint I'm disappointed in myself for letting it get to that point and kind of um not bringing Nancy further away from everything and sure. raising my voice at her mom and raising my voice at her brother but the emotions in that minute like in those few minutes I can see where they're coming from because that's how I would have felt with if it was my younger sister yeah um, I would not that's how I would have felt that's not how I reacted but that's how I would have felt there's no 
like hard feelings to, to her family for how they reacted. Uh, if anything, I'm apologetic for like, for raising my voice to them. Does watching the episodes make you miss Nancy at all? We've, had a, we've come a long way since that day. Um, so not quite, miss, missing her is not the right way to say it. I think, I, I always, I was, I'll definitely say this. When I watched it, and even now after watching it a couple times, you know, the what if question starts to pop in my mind. Like what if, here, like honestly, like what if we had one more week? What if the wedding day wasn't July 1st and it was July 7th? You There's, think you'd be married? I don't know what I think. I think, I, I think, listen, that decision was already so hard. Yeah. Been, I mean, hell, I don't know because it was a roller coaster the whole time. We could have had a downswing and it just would have been easier, you know? I don't know. I will never be your type. Looks matter. Let's talk about some of the comments that you made because you did say a few times that you were not physically attracted to Nancy as you were emotionally attracted to Nancy. And then you also made some comments about Raven. Um, any regrets or how was it to watch those comments back that you made and anything you want to sort of explain? Yeah, no, it was it was tough watching all that stuff back. Um, those, let, let me say this, definitely don't have those serious conversations with your significant other you know, when you're drunk in between the hours of midnight, 4 a.m., those are not, it's not the time to have those serious conversations. Maybe you should right. be a little sober-minded, able to, like, um, pronounce your words better and get your thought out there clearer. Um, as far as regret, I think the message I was trying to get to Nancy was that this is, this is one, this is hard for me. Uh, yeah. Two, it, it, it's hard for all of us um, because they're in a relationship, there is a physical component, and everybody weights that differently. And I, I was just struggling at, at the beginning to kind of connect who I fell in love with to who I was seeing and I'm in love with at the, at the moment. It is a weird thing. It's a very weird thing because yeah, it's funny. I don't think I've ever said this, but I remember like on day seven or eight, you know, we were in the pods and, and I was on a date with Nancy. And th at the time, these dates were going three, between three and four hours. And, you know, it's all talk, all like emotions, all feelings. I remember being physically aroused talking to Nancy in the pod, just like. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's a crazy thing because like when you take away, you know, you take away the TV, you take away your phone, we didn't have access to radio. Right. All we did was like talk and feel. And I felt <laughs> like, wow, like, I was like, I gotta see this girl now, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as regret goes, like, and I said this earlier, like I don't regret it saying what I said or trying to get that message out, I definitely know it was a mistake, right? And and watching it back honestly has been a blessing because I've been able to see one myself kind of like make a fool of myself, but two also how what I say impact who I love. Um, yeah. And so however if I didn't do that, I would never feel this way. I wouldn't have the the retrospective view to be like, damn, I need to be better. I need yeah. to be more sensitive to sensitive to my partner's feelings. I need to be better at kind of saying what I need to say, the important conversations that we need to have in a way that is not gonna like tear somebody down. And I never meant to tear anybody down. I was just trying to no. keep my You were gonna be honest, which a lot of people would appreciate, but maybe the delivery. <laughs> have you and Nancy texted, spoken since all the episodes came out? What is the status of your guys' relationship, yeah. relationship or um, whatever there might be? Since the episodes came out, yeah, that we have we have talked and we've checked on each other. Uh, listen, I, I only went through this experiment with one person, and that's and that's Nancy. So I and I've always told her this since before wedding day, after wedding day, and when we continue to start talking again, like we are going to share that for the rest of our lives. Like, yeah, there, nobody can ever take that away from us. So I want her to be a part of my life, you know, in, until I'm gone from this earth. Um, with that said, you know, our journey through Love Is Blind, the, those six and a half seven weeks was a roller coaster. It was a romantic roller coaster. Our journey since then has continued to be a roller coaster. Um, like as we've kind of moved on and, and experienced other relationships and tried to manage a friendship or, or, or acquaintance, acquaintances. Um, as of right now, we're, we're friends, um, we're cordial. We agreed to be friends. You agreed to be friends. Yes. Are you still dating this other new girl? No, 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 no. That no. is simple. Okay, so what's the status now? What are you kind of looking for? in life uh right now i'm just taking it day by day i'm honestly like watching the episodes again and still trying to learn from what i did as far How as dating like I, I i'm not really interested in that i'm interested in like self-growth right now and i don't think i would 
be growing as fast as I could by myself if I had somebody, you know, next to me. Yeah.